Well, so, so you got to keep in mind, and, and that's a point well taken, 100%. I, I guess I'm asking because I know several um, women who started their own line, um, men who started their own line. They all suffer from a variation of, of problems. Number one, they can't find a chemist. Number two, they can't find a manufacturer that will produce in small batches. All the manufacturers want, you know, you got to order X amount of product. They just don't have the money. They don't have the, um, the consumer base yet. So I was just wondering for you starting out, were you doing it on your own or did you hire someone who would um, work with you and make these small coins? Okay. I'm going to address all of that right now, which is why I told you I adopted your ass. Excuse me. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> okay. So I started out with some very basic formulas, okay, based on performance and clean ingredients. I think I set up the LLC in like 1992, ultimately, because I'm like, okay, this is like, got to get this done. Then, then I presented to Whole Foods. So Whole I, Foods was your first? Whole Foods was my first day. retailer. Okay. okay, wait, let me, okay, let me back up. So I had to work with stylists because I was on a style team, blah, blah, blah. They wanted to buy products. So my first client base were stylists because I knew what they were dealing with. And I'm like, yo, if you're in a, a salon, okay, let me give you an example. If, if you, you, you may not remember this, spritz spray, for instance, is a spray that you spray on the hair, you flat iron to make the hair smooth, okay? Polymer is, oil, is water soluble or alcohol soluble. So if you spend 10 hours using a flat iron, spraying spritz spray on with alcohol, what do you think you're gonna feel like at the end of that day? Okay, so why is they're not a spritz spray that's soluble in water instead of alcohol used. They couldn't get it. <laughs> they were like, oh, well, it wets the hair. How about a fine mist sprayer? How about it hydrates the hair and creates less damage? How about, so to me, because this is what I did every day, this was logical. So, so my first base of people were stylists because I'm a stylist and I do all the stylist shows and blah, blah, blah. And those are my people, like, yo, like, I know what's missing for you guys. Okay, and then we kind of got, went into like the little retail part of the business with Whole Foods. Um, and then we went to the vitamin shop. And, you know, I went from literally making, so when I told, okay, the kettle that I bought, the first kettle, right? Because I had to scale up to 40 gallons, at least. So I had my plumber. <laughs> my Jamaican plumber come and hook up the kettle because it had to be heated with steam to my furnace. So in the summertime, you made products. I'd have to go with a bag of ice and put it on the thermostat to make the, <laughs> the furnace come on so it could heat the kettle. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. I made my first filling machine from like plumbing equipment. Like, I don't know, this is just like how entrepreneurs typically are wired. Okay, so then, then we evolved it to like full manufacturing after we started to sell the stores and things like that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.